All right, guys, so before I start this video, I've got to give a great big thank you shout out to Black's Tire in Rockingham, North Carolina. As you'll find out here in a little bit, uh, I mentioned Mitchell had some issues with his boat trailer and I got down there that night and there wasn't much you could do about it. So we went on out and fished anyhow. Well, we got back to the ramp the next morning and he had to find somebody that could fix his trailer so he could get back home, which is about an hour and a half to two hours away for him. Uh, he came across Black's Tire, went down there, talked to them. They got to looking at his trailer and found out that he's got, uh, I don't know all the details on it, but the piece he needed wasn't something that was re readily available anywhere. So they spent the entire day searching, trying to help him find the party needs. It, long story short, they ended up finding the part, stayed open well after hours, especially on the weekend, got him fixed and back on the road, which just says a lot about them. They take care of their customers and they also care about the fishing community. So if you're in Rockingham, North Carolina, make sure you check them out because they will definitely take care of you. Now, let's get the video started. What's up guys, Austin Rock Bottom Cats here. And in this video, we're gonna do another camping trip out here on the bank. The area we're fishing is actually what was the uh, the river, uh, the river, the lake, but now it's nothing but as you can see behind me, a river. They've drained the whole lake down about six or seven feet. So kind of changed up the fishing around here a little bit. And we had a ton of trouble just coming out here. So backstory on this trip, Mitchell showed up, Baron went out in his trailer. Then he got out here on the water he had boat trouble a couple hours later four four miles later two hours later we're finally up here we want to fish and um the area we really wanted to fish was right back here well then mitchell's boat broke down again we said you know what the heck with it we're gonna stay right here and uh that's where we're set up as you're about to see it's a pretty slow night but we did catch some fish so it wasn't a skunk night had a good time got to eat some good food thanks to wayne and uh Got to hear some funny jokes from Chad Parker. Not sure if they'll make it to the video or not, but they were funny. <laughs> Either way, you guys stick around and I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. All right guys, let me give you a quick rundown on the bait we're using. We've got cut gizzard shad, we've got crappy, we've got bluegill, and they're out in the water right now, but I've also got a couple live baits as well. So those are live bluegill. I'm gonna be fishing with the, uh, sand, I think I got everything Santee rig tonight. So get them tossed out, get one catch. Gotta get it out there till it looks big. All right, y'all, skunk is out. First little flathead on a piece of live bait. Chad's trying to make it look like a giant. Well, <laughs> let me make it so y'all can see it. There we go. <laughs> Head just shrunk. <laughs> All right, we'll get a quick picture.
Vitalia onions. All right, we got the camp chef here tonight. So this is Wayne Mesa. He's Chef Mesa. Netman uh, Cross, <laughs> Wayne Cross ain't here. So he came and I replaced him. I think I'll take the chef over the net man if you actually watch this, uh, Cross. <laughs> but, uh, but, he said he'd be the net man tonight too. Oh yeah, he did say he'd he be the net man. One Wayne that only ran a net and didn't bring any food. That's true. So for a net man named Wayne that brought food. So I'm better than Wayne. Cooking. Basically, I'm better than Wayne Cross, so I need my own YouTube channel. Okay, so okay. tree limb fishing too. Anyhow, guys. Buy some cameras. We've got catch bratwurst, fish. we got onions, got and we got smoke. We ain't got no fire no more, but we got smoke. Oh, wait, look at that. Got there it is. Boom. It hey, it's like he's like one of the fancy chefs. Dude, <laughs> hey, we need to. <laughs> it said woof. Hang on. I'm gonna redo this. Hey, we're gonna get this angle, folks. Stay tuned. All right, you got it ready. All right, folks, y'all ready for this? Here it goes. Oh. That was a fail. We'll try that again. All right, take two. Hold on, wait. Oh, wait. It's not going to do anything. Watch. Okay, Ryan, be serious. All right, take two. Ooh, that wasn't that wasn't very good. All right, third time's it. Uh, third time wasn't a charm. And there it is. A lot of smoke. Can't even see it. There she is. Little brats, onions, and some jalapenos. So we just torches. They're great. Ought to be good. Alright guys, we had to change cameras so I could eat. Appreciate Chef Mesa over here. Oh good gracious, he done about eating the whole pan up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Brats with cheese and jalapenos and onions cooked on a Swedish torch. Yep, you ready? Yeah. We fancy out here, y'all. Yeah. I think they're cooled off enough to eat. Oh, Mitchell done got hooked up, y'all. Get over here so we can see this. I done turned the camera back off because it looked like it was uh, going on there, but I guess it was running with it. See if he's got him a flatty. Yeah, he's, he's, he's worked up. About to have one guy in the water here. Okay, I got out of the weeds. It is a blue. That's a nice fish. Yeah, man. Good fish to start the night. Uh, 20-25. You want some fish grippers? Chad's a, Chad's a man. All right, Mitchell's got one on the board. This one came on a piece of cut bait. So, glad to see uh, him catch a fish. I don't know if I've explained about his night yet or not, but at one point I'll tell you about it. <laughs> He's had some tough luck, so I'm just glad he got his skunk out. So hopefully we'll get a few more fish for the night, so we'll let you get him tossed back now. Let's see if this guy will show off a little. Oh, he's. Let's see what you do, Mr. Blue. <laughs> it's almost too shallow. Nope. No, he wants to come back. He's a boomerang. Wrong way, buddy. All right, bring him back here. Put him on my stringer. <laughs> there he goes. He's gone. All right, guys. Here's my setup. I'll show y'all everybody else's setup in the morning, but it's a muddy mess here, and the bite's pretty slow. But hopefully, uh, catch a few more fish before it's time to go to the house. But if not, I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, 
All right, we're recording. Yeah, we're recording. All right, Mitchell's got him another one. I ain't gonna get down here in time for anybody to see this. You got a good one, it looks like. <laughs> Somebody's lying right here, look. That's the fruit. Are you hung? That's the uh, anchor rope. Is he pulling? All right. I went and got back in the bed. Mitchell done got another fish. Let's see if he's gonna get this one in. Oh, that's definitely a blue. Very nice, very nice. Well, we'll have a fishing video of Mitchell catching fish. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hear you. All right, Mitchell done got him another good one. What'd that one come on? Uh, cut bait. Another one on cut bait. Pretty blue cat, man. Pretty fish. All right, we'll get a couple pictures and get him back in the water. All right, buddy. Get him back in. Now watch him splash the camera. And there he goes. He's gone. To get us a fish. See if we can get this guy in and finally get my skunk off this bait. This one is on piece of cut bait. And he's running all through my other line. That's okay, if we can get a fish on the bank, I'll reset a few lines. Oh, let's see. Okay. All right, guys. Skunk is out for me finally. A little old flatty. <laughs> Ain't much to brag about, but uh, I'm glad they caught a fish. This one came on cut bait. Get him tossed back in and uh, <clears throat> try to catch another one. And for those of y'all fishing with me tonight that are all sleeping right now, here's proof that I did catch a fish. I know some of y'all gonna say I didn't catch nothing. All right, there we go. All right, guys, here's a little bit better view of the nastiness we fished in. All that work, hardly anything to shape for, but that's part of it. Popped off. 
No, he, he's still on there. We're recording? Yeah, we're recording. It ain't big, whatever it is. I bet it's a gar. Yeah, it's a gar. Wayne. Where's Wayne Crawford? Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's got another line. Please don't have another line. <laughs> I was gonna say this was for this was for Wayne Crawford. Tree limb fishing. There was your gar. Look at this. I didn't wrap my line around my other rod here. All right, fishing's getting ready to take off here, man. Yeah, it's taking off with gar. Guys, since y'all couldn't see our ride coming in, I'm actually gonna give you a little footage of us going out here in just a little bit so y'all can check out the stump yard. Uh, we went through last night. It was cool in the dark, kind of freaked, freaked everybody out a little bit, I think, because they weren't expecting that, but it's a, kind of an eerie place when, you, when you're riding up through there, you're letting your lights hit it, but y'all stay tuned. And if any of y'all are wondering why I have my motor so shallow, yeah, it's pretty deep through here, but I don't know just where everything is out here and it gets it gets pretty uh it goes from deep to shallow real quick and there's logs under here so I'm running shallow, it doesn't run as good, but I run less of a risk of tearing my motor up. So just for any of y'all wondering. All right, I don't know how well y'all can see it, but all over there is all those stumps. And there's a nice little, what we call it a channel, but there's a stretch that you can go through along the bank over there that's really nice. And that's where I took everybody last night, just to stay out of the middle of the lake coming up through here in the dark. Probably should have gone over there to, for this trip back actually, because uh, it's be a little bit less choppy over there. But either way, it doesn't look all that crazy on the GoPro or in the daytime, but at night, pretty wild to be coming up there all that so. definitely neat to see the lake when it's down low like this and uh you can map stuff out on your graph but it, it's definitely different looking at it with your eyes so pretty cool ought to be about halfway back now on this nice four mile ride There's a sandbar. I, just, I, just hit bottom. We got to go to the left or the right. I don't know, but I gotta hope I didn't tear up nothing. Um no, I didn't mess up nothing. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this trip. As you saw, it was a very painful night out here. We uh, we got four fish at least. Granted, we would have more. Wayne didn't pay attention to his rods. He missed at least two. In fact, one of them was hauling his bait down through here. We could hear the fish breaking the water, swimming down past us as he sat here and just watched his rod. Anyhow, that fish My got off, were numb from cooking. <laughs> and, he, and he missed uh, another, another one as well. And then Mitchell actually had a good one on that ran him into a log and had to break that one off so we had a little bit more action than what uh we actually got on the bank but all in all it was a pretty slow night either way still a fun trip very muddy very wet i will be glad to be home but definitely uh wouldn't take this trip back for nothing great group of guys to hang out with and i appreciate them all coming with me if y'all enjoyed this video do me a favor hit the like button if you have questions or comments about anything leave them in the comments below and if you're on social media check out rock bottom cats on instagram and facebook once again thanks thanks all for watching i'll catch you guys next time